What's going on guys? Today we finally got the piece of the last piece of the puzzle. I got a package here from Motor Ops. This could only be my ECM and TCM with the tunes loaded for this L5P. So let's dive right into it and see exactly what we get. So I'll bust out my knife here and let's cut this bad boy open and see exactly what's inside. It's a mystery for me, it's a mystery for you guys too, so. All right, let's see. Oh, packing peanuts, that's always fun. Alright, so first thing I see is this. This is the MPVI2. I guess this is your device that lets you connect to your OBD2 and your laptop to flash and load tunes and stuff. Okay. Let's set that off to the side. This, I have no idea what this is. It's like a bunch of caps of some sort. I mean, I guess to clip off some of the plugs that and and um, sensors that we're going to be taking off. So I guess we'll figure this out later. And here's the big box here. Ooh, some motor op stickers. Nice. They actually, feel pretty heavy duty. Nice. That's what you get for all that money, guys. All that money, you get a nice pair of stickers. All right, and this is your main. Let's see if we can do this without making a mess. I might set you guys down for a sec. Oh, sorry. Too bad. Only a couple fell. Ah. All right. So this is your HP tuners. Um. ECM and TCM. I got it directly from Motor Ops. So I believe they preloaded tunes. I talked to the uh, one of the guys there. He said he loaded the uh, the Sport Econ tune already on there. So. That kind of helps me out a little bit. Takes away some of the work. But there's instructions, he says, in, inside. And uh, I'll help. I'll walk you guys through exactly what you got to do. All right, so let's cut this open and see. See what's inside. This is just nonsense here it says you're liable blah blah, blah lawful manner use it you know blah, off road blah blah, blah yada, yada not held accountable bobby boo to be about it we all know that shit already all right so here's your instructions this is your core policy return or we're gonna take your money here's your harness install instructions okay these are where the clips go all right, good. EGR power supply, blah, 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 yeah. All right, good. At least she tells you where those clips go, because that was a mystery to me. Okay. I already sent my core in for my uh, 
my ECM. I bought one off the computer so I didn't have to uh, send my original in because I want to keep that just in case. All right, here's instructions on how to get your tunes, download your tunes from HP Tuners. You got to go to the VCR. I'll walk you guys all through that once, I, uh, once we unbox the rest of this thing. All right, so you got a single piece of like heavy duty foam off the top. Here is your another middle piece of foam, your TCM. Looks like it's in good shape. And your ECM. Unlocked ECM from HP Tuners. So I guess that's all you get in this box. Let's just look at the pins, make sure all the pins look good. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, they put their little seals on here. HP tuners cracked into here seals. Don't remove. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. Any other paperwork or anything? No, that's it. So that's it. You got in your box, you got your ECM, TCM. from HP tuners you got your bunch of instructions which didn't even know that they were doing that so that's good that helps you out. your MVPI 2 this is preloaded with you're gonna need 14 credits if you buy it from um, motor ops everything's all preloaded like I said they already flashed this ECM with um, with the tune already on it with the vats off you're going to have to flash in the beginning with the vats off. Otherwise, your truck's not going to start. And you're going to run into problems. So that's already pre-done. And, um, yeah, this is all preloaded with the credits and everything. So that's good. And, uh, yeah, when I'm ready to go step outside and do the swap, I will take you guys with me to show you uh, exactly what you have to do to get this bad boy going. So, uh, inside the truck, I got the uh, laptop hooked up. And I got the MVPI2 hooked up to the laptop so first things first you're going to go to um hptuners.com slash downloads you need to download the latest software so i did that already we're going to go ahead and open it up here okay now i believe it says with the key on you're going to go to vehicle connect it's doing its thing you go to vehicle controls and special functions system And you're going to hit replace ECM. And it's going to say, is this the stock ECM installed? Yes. Click yes. It's now going to read the stock ECM. Okay, it's read successfully. And it says replace the ECM and special function program to the new ECM. Okay. All right, so I guess from here on out. You uh, change out the ECM for the unlocked ECM. So we'll uh, walk you through the process of doing that. The TCM used to be mounted right there. But they did a little switcheroo. And now it's mounted right back here. The ECM is still in the same spot for the 2000s, uh, 2019s. It's right back here. And they used to be, they said they used to be a Christmas tree clip. Now it looks like it's only being held on by a single uh, 10 millimeter bolt. So 
We'll go ahead and get these clips all taken off and get that one bolt out and see if this thing could slide right out. All right, so in order to get that out, you actually don't have to remove the bolt, just back it out a little bit. Just enough to give yourself a little bit of room to get in there to get this out. So this is the unlocked TCM. We'll go ahead and put this back in. That's a 10 millimeter long socket. Button that back up and then we'll go back in the truck and uh, uh, read the VIN to this and we'll be good to go, hopefully, we'll see. All right, so the unlocked ECM is now installed and I'm back in the truck. Connect to vehicle. Controls and special functions. System. Replace ECM. Is the stock ECM installed in the vehicle? This time we're going to hit no. Have you installed the new replacement ECM? We're going to click yes. And then it says, please enter the VIN for your vehicle. All right. I mean, I guess that's it. Everything is... Uh, Everything seems to be done. Like I said, Motor Ops already has tunes preloaded in the um, ECM. So I guess let's disconnect from the vehicle. And I guess we'll try to start it up. So we'll see what happens. All right, so here we go. Oh, we're going to start her up. And there you have it. All right, so this is the magic of editing. This is <laughs> this is not the first startup. Uh, I actually ran into like a little hiccup, but not really. You know, it was kind of like a normal thing. When you first swap out your ECM and TCM, you have to do that crank relearn. So your truck's got to be up to operating temperature. It's got to be warm. It's got to be you know. So drive it around first before you swap out your. Uh, your electronics get the truck nice and hot get it going do your swap and then you're gonna have to do the crank relearn all right so when I first started it up my engine rpm was going like 500 800 a thousand then dropping to 500 then going back up then dropping then going back up and I was it was just running like shit so I called motor ops real quick and they were like oh yeah simple fix um, it threw a check engine light, which they said it was going to do, which was the VATS, because the tune is with the VATS off, and the crank position relearn. So he's like, all you have to do is go to your HP tuner software, which we did right here. And I'll show you exactly how to do that again, exactly what I went through. So right now I'm not connected because my I got my edge hooked, hooked back up, but I'll show you exactly what to do on here. So you're going to go to um, vehicle, you're going to connect to vehicle. Obviously, I'm not connected, so it's not going to connect. Then you're going to go to um, controls and special functions. Actually, you know what? I'll just connect it to show you guys. It's really easy. It's just kind of scary, I guess. Oh, sorry. So you're going to go to connect to vehicle. My vehicle's already running, so... All right, now that we're connected, you're going to go to Vehicle, Controls and Special Functions, and see right there, Crank Relearn. It's one of the first things in the engine tab right here. So you're going to do the Crank Relearn. Basically, what you got to do is put your foot on the brake. It'll You'll hit Crank Relearn, and it's going to say, you know, gradually uh, rev to the fuel cutoff, yada, yada, yada. We already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. You're going to put your foot on the brake. Click that OK tab, and you're going to rev your engine all the way up to about 3,000 RPMs or so, and it's going to, like, kick out. It's going to shut off. Once it shuts off, that's it. It's done. So you're going to disconnect. Disconnect from the vehicle right here. Boom. And then you're going to cycle your key on and off a few times. Once you do that, you can start it back up, and it should clear it. If it doesn't... Um, Mine didn't clear right away, so what I wound up having to do is drive it like two miles, throw it around the block, 
turned it off, started it back up, and it's been running beautiful. So, all right, so after you do that, once you get your crank relearn done, you want to go to vehicle, you want to connect to your vehicle, and this is to get your, this is to, you know, change your VIN and get your VIN put into your new uh, ECM and TCM. So you're going to go to vehicle, controls and special functions, you're going to scroll over to the systems tab, and you're going to go to change VIN. So you hit your change VIN, this is my VIN in here already, so we're not going to change it, but it said in the uh, beginning, it was like your VIN number is YYYYYYY. So just go ahead, put your VIN in. It might fail. Mine failed twice. Put it in. It uh, changed it. Now my edge monitor works perfectly again. So, so far, so good. I'm happy with it. No check engine lights as of right now. He said they may pop up, um, but that's because the VATS isn't done yet. Once the uh, once all the work gets done, like the uh, EGR and all that shit gets taken off, the um, you need to bring the truck back to the dealer and get the uh, the VATS relearn, and then we could flash the truck again with the VATS on tune, and you should be good to go. But as of right now, truck is running perfect, smooth, no check engine lights. Like I said, here we can go to. Uh, diagnostics you could read the engine lights and this was the code that it was throwing it said p007b change air cooler temperature circuit you know nonsense so uh yeah i mean everything seems pretty good all right so just a quick recap back under the hood your tcm on your 2019 and above is now going to be located on the firewall right here all right, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt. You need a long socket. You don't have to take it out all the way. Back it out about two thirds of the way and you'll be able to shimmy the, your uh, shimmy your TCM out of there. There's these two little black clips. There's one here, one right there. I don't know if you guys can see. And your uh, harness. That unscrew unplugs and just look, kind of lifts right out of there. Your ECM is in the same location that they were. If I can get you guys down in there, you're not going to be able to see. All right, right here, there's one 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt. I don't know if you guys can check that out. It's about right over there. Simple, just a 10 mil bolt. Those three plugs unplug. ECM slides right out of that, and you're good to go. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So all this stuff gonna be gone soon. So stay tuned. All right. So with all that being said, I guess this is gonna be the end here. This is my factory TCM, factory ECM, all swapped out, all nestled safely back in their little package here. And ready to be stored away. Like I said, I bought um, I bought a ECM off off eBay to send in as my core, and I'm gonna keep this just in case something ever happens and I want to switch back, which I highly doubt it. But I'm keeping it just in case. Same thing with the TCM. Gonna keep that. It's my factory stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. I mean, um, the swap was pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. Um, all you had to do is put your ECM in, TCM in, do a couple uh, little clicks on your mouse pad, and it's good to go. Truck runs good. So um, if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. Uh, otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for pioneering and leading the way here, doing this on my brand spanking new truck to help you guys out. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, see you guys on the next one. All right, talk to you guys soon.